Greetings. This is General of the Armies Vincent Diaz Jr. This is a in Cape for Vladimir Putin of uh, of an emergency nature, of a rush protocol need. Um, I'm going to cycle through the news here and the news. I saw the news. The Ukraine is firing long-range missiles at Russians or something. And it's clearly these long-range missiles that are the line you've drawn in the sand for them not to be using that they can fire from Ukraine into Russia. Clearly. It's the old, the old uh, farm silo, hide a missile, strike half a continent away system. Oh, I think I'm going to get to that last. Here we go. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin announces it's temporarily suspending abortion services after SCOTUS ruling yesterday the Hill. I've been looking through uh, TikTok. Um, you, you, sir, need to look at this YouTube. I send these through in these TikToks. Um, all hell has broken loose. In terms of this crisis of the food and the fake police. Uh, it seems the fake police are going around everywhere trying to steal every ID, nearly. And there's just all this madness at these markets. Like anyone who makes any of these people with the sort of right to be there mad uh, suffers a murder attempt on their life. CNN, 22 hours ago, Miranda rights, abortion, Second Amendment. These are the cases I thought I was... I thought I was come on, man. What the hell? Damn espionage. Ocasio Cortez says conservative just Ocasio Cortez says conservative justices lied under oath should be impeached the hill six hours ago. AOC SCOTUS justices who lie about their positions at confirmation should be impeached at that dot five hours ago, New York Post. Yahoo News five hours ago, AOC says Supreme Court justices who lied under oath must face consequences for quote I am dot dot dot. Axios, five hours ago, AOC says impeachment possible if Supreme Court justices lied under oath. That's not good enough. We have a justice system they have to face up to. Independent, five hours ago, AOC says Supreme Court justices lied under oath about Roe v. Wade should be impeached. Newsweek, five hours ago, AOC proposes impeachment for Supreme Court justices who lied under oath. It's sad. Why can't they just recite the law and the penalties? KTLA Los Angeles 18 hours ago. LAPD arrest man accused of attacking officer with torch during abortion rights protests. Fox News 7 hours ago. South Dakota trigger law bans abortion. Governor Noam says states focuses on taking care of women. Detroit Free Press 5 hours ago. Michigan's largest health system reverses course on abortion stance. The Daily Beast six hours ago, Vladimir Putin to send nuke-ready missiles to Belarus as Ukraine attacks heat up. Fox News five hours ago, Stacey Abrams refuses to say whether she supports restrictions on abortions up to nine months. Uh, the, the Associated Press seven hours ago, Biden urges Western unity on Ukraine amid war fatigue. Politico, five hours ago, storm clouds at home, dampen Biden's return to Europe. Reuters, six hours ago, kindred spirits, Biden, Scholz, work to heal U.S.-German ties. The Hill, yesterday, Biden heads to Europe amid domestic woes. CNN, three hours ago, Prince Charles accepted suitcase with one million euros from Qatari Sheikh, Sunday Times reports. I had a name on that one in a different article, whatever. Al Jazeera, yesterday, Taliban call for unfreezing of bank funds after deadly earthquake. NPR 15 hours ago, Ecuador's government has lifted a state of emergency amid an indigenous-led strike. New York Post one hour ago. G7 leaders mock Vladimir Putin over short shirtless horse riding picture. New York Post one hour ago. G7 leaders mock Vladimir Putin over shirtless horse riding picture. Looks like me at a state fair. The horse rejected my shirt, although allowed me to ride without it. 
Fox News seven hours ago. Turkish police break up LGBT pride parade in Istanbul. Detained dozens. Loop News Caribbean yesterday. Tropical wave to affect Granada on Sunday. Forecasters at the Meteorological Office at the Maurice Bishop International Airport are monitoring the westward movement of a tropical wave. I don't know what that's supposed to be. The Washington Post, seven hours ago, Bavarian Castle hosting G7 was Nazi vacation camp, Holocaust sanctuary. Yahoo News, two hours ago, Bosnian Serb leader prays for Trump's return, praises Putin. Newsweek, two days ago, Ukrainians fire three large tactical ballistic missiles at Russian forces, ammo depots. wonder what the crop is. What's the crop? What's the crop? I don't know if I recognize it. It's not soybeans. It's not corn. It's not mint. It's not, it's, it's not oranges. It's not olives. It's not grapes. It's not apples. But it's grain. It's not grain. New, Newsweek. Ukrainian special forces work with artillery units, take out Russian forces, two days ago. Ukraine form, five hours ago. Ukraine has become test site for Russian missiles, Air Force Command spokesman. Reuters, three days ago. Fact check video purporting to show Russian hypersonic Kinzhal missile targeting Ukrainian weapons depot was dot dot dot. Newsweek. Two days ago, watch, Ukrainian Marines work with gunners to destroy Russian tank ammo. DH something eight hours ago. Moscow says strikes hit Ukraine military training centers. Daily Mail yesterday. Now Russia threatens Poland. Putin kills 80 Polish fighters in precision strikes in East Ukraine. National Post 12 hours ago. Russia strikes training centers in three Ukrainian regions agencies. Yahoo Voices. Ukrainian defenders destroy one Russian Su-25 attack aircraft, eight armored combat vehicles, and an ammunition depot yesterday. The Defense Post five days ago. Russian electronic warfare drone shot down in Ukraine. Report. MSR News Online. Two days ago. Ukrainian Marines joke about bad weather and thunderstorms as they pummel Russians with artillery. The Florida Star. Three days ago. Ma moment. The Florida Star. Three days ago. Moment. Ukrainian soldier fires rocket from building filling room with smoke. Euro Weekly News. Two days ago. Ukraine paratrooper shoots down Russian KA-52 Al Al alligator attack helicopter. Daily caller for days ago. Crazy viral video shows a Russian jet firing rockets in Ukraine. Newsweek World. Ukrainians fire three large tactical ballistic missiles at Russian forces ammo depots. By Joseph Golder, Zanger News, on 6 22 at 5.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Ukrainian forces fired three large tactical ballistic missiles at Russian positions, including ammunition depots, as images from Ukraine's military reportedly show. Ukraine, from what can be seen on the footage. It is unclear where exactly in Ukraine the images were filmed, but the footage was obtained from the Strategic Communications Department of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, who said that it shows the launch of three Tachka OTRs, tactical ballistic missiles, at the positions of orcs and ammunition depots. Ukrainian forces reportedly fired Tachka-U ballistic missiles at Russian military positions in Ukraine. This is a Twitter or something or other. At a f u s t r a t c o m forward slash z e n g e r, the Ukrainian forces regularly refer to the invading Russian military forces as orcs. Zenger News contacted the Strategic Communications Department of the Armed Forces of Ukraine for further comment, as well as the Russian Ministry of Defense, but had not received a reply at the time of writing. 
Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th in what the Kremlin is still calling a special military operation. Friday marks the 121st day of the invasion. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that between February 24th and June 24th, Russia had lost about 34,530 personnel, 1,507 tanks, 3,637 armored combat vehicles, 759 artillery units, 241 multiple launch rocket systems, 99 air defense systems, 216 warplanes, 183 helicopters, 622 drones, 137 cruise missiles, 14 warships, 2,553 motor vehicles and fuel tankers and 60 units of special equipment. The European Union on Thursday approved Ukraine's application to become a candidate for admission to the bloc, which is currently made up of 27 countries. The decision has been hailed in Brussels and Kiev as a historic moment. The Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky saying that Ukraine's future is in the EU. The head of the International Energy Agency, Fatih Beral, warned Russia might stop supplying gas to Europe this winter. Several European countries have already received less Russian gas than expected in the last few weeks, with European imports of natural gas from Russia dropping from approximately 40% to 20%. Germany has taken a step closer to gas rationing after a drop in supplies from Russia. British intelligence has estimated that the pro-Russian so-called Donetsk People's Republic DPR has lost 55 percent of its original forces. U.S. intelligence has revealed that Russia is mining the Black Sea ports of Odessa and Ochakiv to throttle Ukraine's ability to export grain. Rus Russia is now thought to control all of the eastern Ukrainian city of Severodonetsk, apart from the Zot chemical plant. Ukrainian officials have said there are currently no safe towns for civilians in the Donetsk region of eastern Ukraine as fighting intensifies. The story was provided by the story was provided to Newsweek by Zenger News. Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, there we have it. There we have it. There we have it, huh? The uh, human suffering is all right. If you, if you had some way of going through TikTok like I have, it's time. It's time. You said. The deployment in mullets. You you laid you, you laid the gambit. You you placed the um, placed the sure thing. You gave them. You, you you gave them the trigger to deploy on themselves. Should they um, rush you like this? They have. They are. They will. They won't stop. They leave us no choice. They leave you no choice. They leave I little choice but to suffer through. It's what everyone said it would be, will be, has been, and always is. At the halt of World War II's aggressions to prepare for this system. To be ready at the start of World War III to be capable of meeting the needs of justices called for enforcing. <sighs> Here it might be two days. It might be the Stalinism after what I've had to pass through to YouTube from TikTok. It's like two days. They have like two days to file replies. I guess we're, we're standing down. We're, 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 you and I, we're it. we're it. We're all that's left. We're all that's left. So you, you can, with the surety needed perfections, clear my zone here to put me to work right, like I could for you if I was with you there the way I can't be. But you can make it for I here, for you there, for us everywhere, what we need, always, anywhere.
which is the opposite of what we have here now. Then I can um, move on. We are just talking about it being uh, 3,000 years before I can probably get to the point to have any sort of right to bring a human life to fruition from in Hague, from the current conditions. Yeah, I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I've been calling for at least 40 million years with no humans around, maybe believing they don't exist or forgetting about them after a while. It's gone too far. The human suffering is too great. There's really barely humanity left. They can barely prove they're human, human or human or have humanity. They can't express language that they can validate with their behavior. Their behavior only validates to violence. This is what it always has been. This is what it was with their predecessing species anyhow. They've gone far enough at automating all these crimes and the autom automation of weaponization of everything they can possibly use to these ends to leave no doubt that the first option possible proper strike it must be so well, I think I'm gonna sing I just I wanna sing one yeah. it ain't me it ain't me I ain't no humanity son yeah, yeah. it ain't me it ain't me I ain't no fortunate one some folks are born silver spoon in hand. They're the opposite of helping anyone. Some folks have those star spangled eyes. Oh, yeah, they'll send you down to war. I'm telling you, they always need more, more, more. Well, it ain't me. It ain't me. I wasn't born to no human woman. Yeah. It ain't me, it ain't me, I'm older than anyone living, yeah.